So hello everybody! Today I am bringing you the finally fall book tag. I'm in a very fall kind of mood. I will link to the original tag in the description and uh, yeah, let's get to the questions, eh babes? Question number one. In the fall the air is crisp and clear. Name a book with a vivid setting. For this one, I'm going to talk about Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. If you haven't read this book, you are missing out because the best thing about this book is the atmosphere and the setting that it brings to life. I love the style that Susanna Clarke wrote in. She's got another book coming out next year and I'm kind of excited about it. Um, it's very different from this, obviously, but I'm excited to see what else she can bring to the book world because I just found that the, everything about this book, the diction and the characters and uh, the inclusion of footnotes really brought the setting of the Napoleonic War to life. And this is a very atmospheric uh, book and I recommend that you read it. Question number two. Nature is beautiful but also dying. Name a book that is beautifully written but also deals with a heavy topic. For this prompt, I'm going to talk about The Chai Factor. This book came out this year. It was absolutely hilarious. I laughed so much during this book. One of the things that this book talks about in between the rom-com aspect is Islamophobia and misogyny in uh, the STEM world. I found that the heavier topics um, helped to make the humor more po poignant whenever uh, there was a funny scene and vice versa. Um, it was a really nice balance and I recommend this book. Question three. Fall is back to school season. Share a nonfiction book that taught you something. I'm going to reference the Amazons. This is one of my favorite nonfiction books. It is so full of so much information. I absolutely loved the blend of archaeology and history and um, mythology in the telling of who the Amazons would have been in fact, not only in legend. I learned so much from this and highly recommend it. Question number four. In order to keep warm, it's good to spend time with the people we love. Name a fictional family, household, or friend group that you would like to be a part of. For this, I just randomly chose this book because it has a fall-colored spine, but I chose the Valdemar series by Mercedes Lackey. This has long been one of my favorite worlds to immerse myself in. When I was 13, I dressed only in light gray because I wanted to be a herald. And so that is why I'm recommending um, the Voldemar books for this. The friendship groups, depending on which book series that you're reading, because there's several different trilogies and standalones and uh, longer series in this world. Um, the friend group and the family changes over time, but I still really love the world as a whole and Harold's as a whole. Question number five. The colorful leaves are piling up on the ground. Show us a pile of fall colored spines. I'm just gonna put this back here so that I can ack, lift it. Mostly lift it. Ta-da! Question number six. Fall is the perfect time for storytelling by the fireside. Share a book where someone is telling you a story. And for that, I'm going to talk about The Ruin of Kings. This is another book that came out this year, another book that I read this year. I read it in four days because I could not put it down. Another one that just has such a wonderful style. Um, it also has footnotes um, like uh, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, but it's uh, told a little bit differently. It's told in a mixed first and third person point of view, which I usually don't like. But it worked really well for this because the entire book is a conversation between a man who is a prisoner in a locked cell and his guard who happens to be this demon-like creature who absorbs the memories of anyone she eats or spends enough time around. So 
the book is back and forth um, telling two different timelines. He's trying to tell his story and she's like, no, 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 that's not where you start. And so she tells his story starting six months prior to that and uh, going through the points of view of all of the people that she's either killed and eaten or uh, spent enough time around, which is really just him. So I really, really, really enjoyed this one. The sequel's coming out this month and I can't wait and I'm kind of a little bit trepidatious because that's a very unique style and I'm wondering what the second one's gonna be, but I'm looking forward to it. Question number seven. The nights are getting darker. Share a dark, creepy read. I'm not much of a dark, creepy read kind of person, so I'm going to share a short story collection because there's one story in here that really gave me the creeps when I read it I was like oh my god and it's called The Evaluators um, and it's in How Long Till Black Future Month by N.K. Jemisin which as a whole is a, such a wonderful collection of short stories. I ran out and I bought myself a copy because I really needed to have one on my shelf. Um, the Evaluators, by the way, is one of my favorite stories in this collection, but by the end I was like, oh, don't read that before bed, that's for sure. Question number eight. The days are getting colder. Name a short, heartwarming read to warm someone's day. This is going to be a weird sort of recommendation, and I don't have a physical copy yet, um, but I'm going to go with The Murderbot Diaries. Um, I don't know if you would really consider them heartwarming exactly, but to me, they're, they're, they're comfort reads. I turn to them whenever I am in a reading slump and I don't know what to read, I'll read a murder bot. I turn to them whenever I'm feeling a little bit depressed and I just want to lose myself in a book, I will open up murder bot. So I highly recommend the murder bot diaries. I find that they're very absorbing. Question number nine, fall returns every year. Name an old favorite that you'd like to return to soon. I ended up choosing one of my old favorites from when I was a teenager, um, and it's called The Last Dragon Lord. This is a book that um, I don't remember a whole lot about it, but basically um, it involves these creatures called dragon lords. So they have um, human bodies, but they also have a dragon inside them that they can uh, change into. And these dragon lords have been slowly um, dwindling. They mate for life and they have one um, particular mate. And less and less dragon lords have been born naturally, so they're not pairing off anymore. So the last dragon lord is um, a man who uh, does not have a mate and pretty well believes that he's never going to find a mate because there just haven't been any more. Uh, Dragon Lords Born. I remember loving it. I absolutely loved this book. And so it's one that I would like to reread, especially because I've forgotten most of the things about it. <laughs> Question number 10. Fall is the perfect time for cozy reading nights. I agree. Share your favorite reading accessories. Well, one of them is this blanket that the dog is currently on. It's very cozy. It has like stars on it and an astronaut and, and a dog as you can see. Um, I guess the other thing would be the dog himself. I like it when he snuggles up to me and we read. Hey babes, you like that too? He reads audiobooks with me. And then, because I always drink a cup of tea, I brought my ghost mug. It's one of my favorite mugs, especially this time of year. I love ghosts so much. That's my little motif. Whenever I buy a Halloween decoration, it is probably a ghost or a cute pumpkin. And uh, I love to read with a cup of tea and a cookie, but I don't have any cookies right now. Isn't that sad, babes? So that was the finally fall book tag. If you would like to join in, consider yourself tagged. Until next time, happy reading. Hi, hi, I see ya. I see ya, what I can't do is move ya. Oh yeah, I guess I can rub your belly.